The Line Project in Saudi Arabia has been heavily debated. Did you know about it? Well, we did not know much about it ever since new drone footage emerged. This new drone footage has shown that construction on this Saudi Arabian mega-project has begun. While most people think that it is incredibly huge and something that looks like a project too good to be accurate, but now that construction has actually started, how do you think it will turn out? To find out, watch this super informative and fun video by Just Tech. What exactly are Neom and The Line? The actual plan for the vision and construction of The Line was revealed by Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman himself in July of the year 2022. In the plan, he proposed the construction of two parallel standing 500 meter tall skyscrapers, which will be made out of reflective glass and will also supposedly span more than 150 kilometers across the desert nation. This is a vast project and seems nearly impossible, because if you actually look at it, the Crown Prince is talking about building a project with two lines consisting of around 2,000 World Trade Centers each. According to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the line is not just a mega-project, but also a way of living. According to the proposed plan, there will not be any cars inside the city, and everything one needs for survival will be at a five-minute distance. All the energy required will be produced through solar and wind power, and the water for usage will come from a newly developed carbon-free desalination system. According to Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the line will ultimately be a carbon-free city. While the proposal of this plan had mixed reactions from citizens and people abroad, the Saudi Arabian government seemed confident about it. However, no one knew what occurred at the accurate construction site. Construction of Saudi Arabia's mega-project, The Line, actually begins. Drone footage released by OT Sky actually emerged on the 19th of October 2022, which revealed construction taking place on the site of The Line. The footage shows many excavators digging what can be seen to trench across the desert. These trenches are believed to form the foundation of The Line. While no one can actually figure out where the construction is taking place, one can see some mountains in the drone footage and guess that it is taking place very far and deep in the deserts of Saudi Arabia. And thinking by that parameter, the excavations might already be more than 15 to 20 kilometers long. All these developments can be seen on Google Maps, and an entire site with offices and camps can be spotted near the mountains. A Neom community with swimming pools, a Neom experience center, and a football field can also be seen. Many of these images uploaded on Google Maps are not even up to date, so it is safe to say that a lot more construction and building might have taken place by now. By now, you might have realized the level of information we provide in our videos. If you think this video is fun and informative, check out our channel Just Tech and make sure you subscribe to it. Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and the Line The Saudi Arabian Kingdom has been almost entirely dependent on oil and petroleum for its economy for decades. Still, now they are planning to expand and create a post-oil economy. The Line and the Neom projects are also a part of this nation-building scheme and depend on other factors such as real estate and technology instead of just oil. The line most certainly is an attempt at nation-building and nation-rebranding. The line will be a smart city, and its main focus is on technology, luxury, professional lifestyles, innovation, environmental sustainability, and of course, a strategic location. All of this suggests that the planners, designers, and visionaries of this mega-project want to produce an unconventional yet impeccable urban development that will help transition Saudi Arabia from a backward region that is only dependent on its oil for its growth and economy. The line has a solid vision, and if made just the way it was intended, can do wonders for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, but it requires a lot of willpower, strength, and of course, money to finish this mega-project. Environmental and Community Impact of the Line This Saudi Arabian mega-project aims for zero carbon experience and zero emissions living. According to the plan revealed by Saudi Arabian Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, all the energy inside the line will be produced by using renewable energy resources such as wind or solar power. 
Even the water used by residents of the line will be recycled, and the water for usage will come from a newly developed carbon-free desalination system itself. The smart city will use the latest technologies and even have mixed-use buildings. Inside this fantastic smart city, no cars will be allowed. While this looks and seems like a crazy idea, the reason behind this is that the Saudis claim that the residents of this smart city will be encouraged to walk, cycle, and use public transport to go wherever they want. Also, anything the residents of the line need for sustenance will be available to them within a 5-minute walking distance. While the smart city itself may be carbon-free and very sustainable and non-polluting, the methods, materials, and construction used for building this mega-project, the line, might actually be highly polluting and could lead to a large number of carbon emissions. However, the Saudi Arabian government authorities claim that no construction will begin or take place unless they have met a strict set of international rules and criteria in terms of carbon emission and pollution. Will the line actually be completed? If we are being sincere, we do not know. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has heavily invested in the Neom project and the line, and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, is highly optimistic. Construction has already started, and the smart city can be finished and developed quickly. Still, there have been many cases where construction status remains unclear even after years of rigorous development. While many features of the smart city look pretty impossible to execute, like creating a city with zero carbon emissions, having a completely sustainable city, having a town with no cars, and only using green and clean energy resources to produce power, the Saudi Arabians are highly optimistic about it. Even the recently surfaced drone images and videos show that construction is going on vigorously and has gone deep well into the country's inland. Still, the world will only get to know the truth about the line once actual people start moving and living in, and when the Saudi Arabian government launches some footage about the development of the line and its progress. In any case, only time will tell whether or not the line mega project will be a success. Why do some people hate the idea of the line? Well, the answer is straightforward. People dislike the line because they cannot simply digest the idea of such a modern and intelligent way of living. Some people think that it is too outlandish, too ambitious, and too unrealistic and can never actually be developed. While all of these things might be true to some extent, the Saudi Arabians are already proving them wrong by beginning the construction of their smart city and working on it vigorously. Some car lovers also hate the idea simply because the smart city would not have any cars allowed inside it, but that seems like a personal reason and is no actual reason to think that the line might be a bad idea. The idea might be too far-fetched, but with a bit of planning and a little effort, it is most certainly achievable. If you loved this video and would like to watch more videos on such cool infrastructural projects and the various technologies behind them, do make sure to subscribe to our channel Just Tech. You can also check out our channel for other technology-related videos. Also, a big thumbs up to the video would be heartening.